city of Santa Monica is a unique city in that it brings in tourists throughout the world. Um, and with that, uh, it brings different challenges that the police department uh, has to develop resources to, to assist with. Santa Monica Police Department is located in the western portion of Los Angeles County in Southern California. We're a police department of 225 police officers and about 250 civilian support staff. We're home to 90,000 residents uh, of varying economic statuses from the homeless all the way up to people who live in multi-million dollar homes. And then we have an overlay of about 8 million visitors who come to take advantage of warm weather, blue skies, and beautiful beaches. We're committed to integrity, accountability, uh, innovation, uh, respect, and we really, really value uh, what people bring to the table because that helps us to do a better job at maintaining public safety. Now, clearly our mission is to fight crime, the fear of crime and disorder, but we do it in a way that is compassionate and that reflects our commitment to constitutional policing. Uh, the environment in the city of Santa Monica is great. Uh, there is a uh, diversity in the police department, also in the community. Uh, you can find different uh, backgrounds, different ethnicities that work in this police department, which is great. We use each other's uniqueness out on the field to uh, get the job done better. The uh, downtown services unit, known as the, the bike patrol team, is a team here on the 3rd Street Promenade in the downtown area that patrols specifically this area and also the, uh, the pier. The 3rd Street Promenade is a world-renowned outdoor shopping area. Um, it's four city blocks. It contains high-end shopping areas, contains restaurants, uh, access to hotels. Um, it's that permanent fixture in Santa Monica that attracts millions of tourists annually. The city that we work in is extremely diverse. Um, we deal with anyone from citizens that are here, uh, our homeless population, and also um, tourists. So you kind of have to wear a lot of different hats um, while you're dealing with all these different people. Being out on bikes in the downtown area is kind of an interesting thing. I don't think a lot of people see it. Um, most of the time we wear a different uniform than uh, our patrol guys. Um, it's a little bit softer look. Some guys even wear shorts. So I feel like people can approach us a little bit easier um, and kind of talk to us. Uh, we always have a lot of tourists in the area, so they usually will come up, um, even just ask for restaurant recommendations, that kind of thing. So I think uh, people from the outside and citizens that live within our city are really comfortable with us um, and it works for a great working relationship with our community. The Community Affairs Unit consists of four neighborhood resource officers, four crime prevention coordinators, and is overseen by a police sergeant. Each neighborhood resource officer is paired with a crime prevention coordinator and we work together as a team to address community concerns and work as a liaison between the community and the department. In community affairs we wear a lot of different hats. We perform a lot of different duties. Um, some of the things that we do is problem solving and mediating uh, neighbor issues and we also coordinate community events such as coffee with the cop, movie in the park, um, and neighborhood watch meetings. I think that any time that you can engage the community in a positive way, that's just another chance and an opportunity to help build and strengthen those relationships. And I think at the end of the day, you want to know that your community has trust and confidence in their police department. The Homeless Liaison Program is a program set out to alleviate and assist in homelessness in terms of the residents, the homeless themselves, and the community as a whole. We outreach, we make sure that other agencies, service providers come and talk to them, see if there's anything that, that they can assist. Even in the jails, we'll have uh, West Coast Care come in and talk to them and see if maybe they can provide any kind of resources. The Homeless Liaison Program has been very effective. Since 2009, when we started the Homeless Count, our homeless street homeless population has gone down 13%. I do like the aspect of collaboration when it comes to working with uh, City Hall, with the City Attorney's Office, with all these uh, agencies like OPCC, which is the Ocean Park Community Center, St. Joseph's. All these organizations really want to help out the homeless, and we just want to be there to assist them in helping out. The commitment that the men and women put in every day, uh, the fact that they do work that nobody sees. The fact that people come to this community and don't have to think about their safety, that makes me proud because that says we're about our business, 
we're on our game, we're standing as the benchmark for excellence in the profession, and I'm proud of it. Being a police officer in the city of Santa Monica is the best job in the world. I mean, it's California, what do you want? <laughs>